Hi guys. And yeah, um done this in a while yes again and we're at 333 and thank you for the 333 subscribers that are there supporting this channel thank you I was supposed to post this during uh, last Valentine's because that was my second year founding founding anniversary which doesn't really work because I just started being active in YouTube. This was a long juke video. Now it's a collaboration with... And she made um, a video about um, hairstyles. And you better check it out because she's just so awesome. And I've been talking to her to, for quite some time. And yeah, like my other collabs, they are good people. So yeah. So today's video is a curly journey video curly journey curly hair journey video and I'm gonna make it as much as possible um, clear and um, like detailed as I can and it's almost summer so if you see sweat drops that's because I don't have AC or electric fan or anything to cool me it's just the hot room okay let's stop let's start let's start when I was born I was born with technically no hair just that spiky kind of thing but not so much and of course eventually the hair grew out and it was curly spirally I think but not as curly as it is now because it's a bit thinner back then these are the photos okay I'm not really sure if I have photos that much but uh, I usually have it in the ponytail and or cut it short so my mama doesn't have to worry too much about hair accessorizing and all that jazz but um, around when I was in second grade my hair wasn't really that curly as I saw from some of my photos when I was young for the most of it I am a curly girl with a crown you know that that hair that's sticking out baby hair and that's how it went till my first grade. I think that I was seven years old. Seven years old when I had my first relaxer. The relaxer that goes back after three months. Nobody told us that it was gonna be damaging. Relaxing a child's hair would give it damage and nobody cares because it's gonna be income and you know. It was just at a salon near our house right now. And it was a salon inside the subdivision, so we kind of thought, okay, it's gonna be nice because my mama had it nice for her, and I kind of hope I get uh, temporary straight hair because kids just don't like the curly hair. They like culotte salad, maluga, and everything that's insulting. And on my second grade, when I was around nine years old, I had my, my second relaxer, and that turned my hair to like kinky. Kinky's not bad, but it got damaged. And instead of having the curly, kind of loose curls, I got some kinky hair. I don't think I have photos, but if I have, it's gonna be somewhere in the video. 10 years old, I had another relaxer that was my final relaxer because I was gonna be in a wedding and I wanted my hair to be straight and after that my hair just didn't come back as it was like my, my mama told me that it wasn't like that before first and last relaxers were because I was just gonna be in a wedding so I had to put my hair in a relax and it was always cut short for some reason after that since it's got this this kind of <laughs> curls and I usually brush it. Oh no, I don't really brush my hair since before. But I don't know how to care for curly hairs because nobody knows how to here in my country. The dog's barking again, mom. And my curls were just so tight, I didn't have the confidence to bring it out. It was just always in the ponytail that's just a big lump like that. Nothing new to the hair, it's just a big lump and what do I expect? I'm just an elementary student, know nothing about this damn it. During that era, it was kind of a 2000s. It's the era of the go straight or go home. Till I was around 15 years old, that was from 
10. No, so five years passed. Uh, my mama allowed me to have a thing we call ribbon, which is what American people call the relaxer. I don't know why they call it ribbon, but it's ribbon. I got ribbon dead first at a salon, index salon. I had to pay 3,500 pesos for my first relax and cellophane. And the guy there was a nice guy. I mean, that guy was nice. When he first did my hair uh, only the bottom ones over here were straight and the rest were still curly because he told us we can't really keep the chemicals long i had to keep up with that for three weeks and then got it redone uh, and finally straight hair everybody was shocked of course it was me with a straight hair of course you know you're the looks the, wow you look so beautiful with your straight hair keep it the keep the straight hair thing okay since after getting it like to grow a little bit of course i had to iron my hair like er, almost every sunday and now we move to my second relaxer which was done i mean my second year bunny which was done when I was in fourth year. First, I really didn't want to get it done again, but then I had it to get it done because crush. Yes, boy crush, boy crush. Because I really thought getting my hair straight will make me look pretty because all the reactions I got. But no, that doesn't make you pretty, my man. Third year bonding would be when I was in first year college. By the way, the second one was done in index salon again, and my third one was done in a mall, in a salon inside a mall near us. They were kind of nice, but not so nice because they got my hair kind of nicely rebonded, and it was really like a fire burning red ish when the sun hits it. They didn't cut the, the V shape and because they said, I'm gonna pay 50 if they're gonna cut that part. But as far as I know, trimming and all that just is part of the rebonding process, so it will be nice. We eh, don't know, they want money, so I just let it be. It wasn't the best. I started to have split ends and dry ends, so that started the damage here. Like, uh uh. My fourth relaxer was when I was in second year college. I had my hair done because it was getting curly, just that. I had it done at La Vielle. Yes, La Vielle. Of course. Picture. It's not nice because it's just ugly, but I'm ugly. We go to the last time that I had my hair rebonded because of another guy too. Well, trying to impress somebody with your hair doesn't really make a difference. After they see your hair like straight, it's not gonna stay like that forever. After that, I didn't really get rebonded because I had this idea in my head that I will get it rebonded when my graduation is near. Around October, this is when the magic starts. I was looking for curly hairstyle for graduation, and then the Seri XO's video popped out. I mean, it was there. It was curly hairstyles. What? Hairstyles for curly girls, I think. We're gonna put the link here. I'm gonna put the link here. And that inspired me to go curly again. And after that, videos, after videos, all of her videos, that's when I started to really appreciate my hair. She inspired me to appreciate my hair. After that, I saw a lot of her videos about sulfates, about her products and learned, 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 learned a lot and then I found Curly Penny I found Risa Rizos I found Bianca Renee Today I found Lia Liana and I also found Water Lily Water Lily is such a nice YouTuber she replies to all of my queries all of them are really nice because they all give informative things about your hair and how to care for it and basically this inspired me to make a YouTube channel and yeah, these people inspired me to really make a big step and love my hair, embrace the curls and embrace what I have. Most of them also went through transitioning. I mean, they went through hit damage. They went through all this crazy thing about what you do with your hair because duh, 
this society it stinks when it comes to this but I'm very very happy that a lot of people are starting to accept curly hairs more and more in our society on my 20th birthday I decided that I'm gonna stop 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 damaging my hair made a move really appreciate what God gave me and started my transitioning journey transitioning was really hard because you get to be called names it's kind of worse compared to when I had my hair like all natural because I have my curly hair sitting on top of my head and then some kind of a uh, straight pieces like really long pieces falling like they're on the red locks it's not bad to have red locks but people call you like Bob Marley I went through OJT with this hair and I didn't give an ish about it because it's what I have I'm trying to go back and a lot of people told me to relax it it's kind of weird you know and all that jazz and a lot of people supported it because they see what curly hair is I've been given love I've been caring for it I removed my sulfate shampoo it took some time before I got it cut off but on my graduation I had it like after <laughs> uh, on my graduation it was still like a long and ishy thing it kind of breaks my heart that I didn't cut my hair at that time because my mama was really worried that I might not make it look nice but I should have garnered more strength and cut it off I'd love it better that way Anyway, after that, my curly hair, really all natural hair journey started and the kids crying. I hope you're not hearing it. And yeah, it was like one of the best moments because after I cut my hair on the Saturday night, on the Sunday morning in our worship service because I was going to go there and my friends saw my hair. It's cut like, whoa. They saw my brother said that a brother in Christ said that they saw a confident person 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 walking she really loves her hair and she's very very confident about her hair that's how I felt that time it was very nice of a feeling cuz this is me this is actually me now and see me as I am I am not changing this hair anymore to straight just to make someone impressed and I really thank God God gave me this I really thank him that he gave me my hair I don't have blending I don't have to keep it the way people say how I should and it's just me like don't alter me just for the sake of me making you feel better that I fit in I don't have to fit in with the hair thing this is me and I won't get it clip on then relax whatever and now I'm gonna show you photos of my curly hair journey all natural hair journey and of course this is one when I started I'm kind of fat there so don't mind it this is from one of my blog posts it was the time where uh, we had some photo shoot and I was like um, complaining about things people told me about my curly hair I'm gonna post a link down below anyway so I'm um, gonna push those up here I don't know where it's gonna be here but oh wait just hit me this was when I noticed my hair just got longer and like poofier I mean bigger and lovelier and it was not a blog post so we're just gonna put it down below and this was a photo posted on snapchat and it was a time that I noticed my hair was really long like long my man's long and it just keeps on growing. I may not have controlled it with the frizz. My country is a humid country, so it's gonna poof. The key to growing nice hair is, first of all, just don't mind what people will tell you. Don't mind what they say. Just get it straight. Just make it straight. You look a, li a lot more beautiful that way. No, just get 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 those thoughts out and that way you'll have to listen to your heart it wants to go natural okay maybe maybe you're telling me because my hair doesn't look like that my hair isn't curly like that no 
that's not the problem here. All curly hair can be done beautifully. If you carry it the way you should carry it, you don't brush it, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't do all that damaging thing. Ask me, I might help you, but the people, these people are the experts. I call them experts because they a lot, they know a lot more than I do, but they can help you. All of their links will be down below. I mean, their YouTube channel links will be down below, so you'll be able to be inspired like how I was to grow and live the natural hair life. A lot of people are accepting this. I hope you accept yours too. Another thing is to love your curls. Curls won't get defined like getting out of the shower and do nothing. No, curls don't work that way. You have to give them conditioners, you have to give them oils, you have to give them live-in conditioners, you have to give them uh, curling creams and all that jazz. It's a commitment, but if you will do this like zealously and all that thing and this thing I'm about, I promise your hair will look a lot more beautiful than it is at the moment. I am telling you this because it's by experience. I thought my hair won't go back like this anymore. I, w I made a rant video about that, but I put it in private because it was just really up. Yes, like I said, don't look at my results. Don't look at her results. Don't look at their results. Look at your own results. You have your own pace. You have your own pattern and it doesn't mean that I grew my hair like this or we have the same curl pattern I mean curl type that will have the same results I have almost the same curl patterns as Curly Penny and or Liana Aliana, Leah Aliana but her hair is a lot thicker so it looks different just keep on focusing on your hair do you look at others hair do you look at others results it's your results that you should look at love all kinds of her curl it will be a really good help if you visit naturally curly naturally natural hair natural curly .com. and that site will really really help you i hope you really like this video or you find it a little bit informative or all that jazz i really wanted to post this a long time ago and my camera kept on shutting and all that jazz so maybe i look different in some way but don't forget to visit my friend's video and her channel of course and subscribe to her because she's such a nice girl and i hope i meet her and i'm sorry for posting too late to work well i'm really sorry so yeah don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel because i make new videos every saturdays most of the time and sometimes within the week when i have something new to share with you I should say that's it for now and I'll see you next time. Bye!